Okay, so this whole Gorilla Glue girl situation is updating and it's updating pretty fast and we have to get into all of it because this is just not good news. Hey guys, it's Marad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Back again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram at Murad underscore Morali. Subscribe to the channel, click that button, and let's get straight into this video. So I think we all know about the whole Gorilla Glue Girl situation that's gone absolutely viral. She's been verified now on Instagram and she now has over half a million followers. So whether she gets this glue off her head or not, she's definitely be going to be making that coin and obviously, you know, going to be collecting a lot of gifted items as well because she definitely now has an audience to promote, you know, and do some good advertising and create some great revenue. However, she has, you know, expressed in a statement, Gorilla Glue have also spoken out, <laughs> everyone's speaking out. Um, she's now considering a lawsuit, guys, to get out of the sticky situation. <laughs> Not sticky. Jessica Brown hired an attorney and is weighing litigation against Gorilla Glue because whilst the product's label warned against using on eyes, skin or clothing, it does not mention hair, the outlet reports. During Brown's weekend trip to the ER, healthcare workers put acetone on the back of her head, but instead of getting to the root of the problem, it burned her scalp and only made the glue gooey before hardening back up, according to TMZ. So going to ER, as she expressed, did not do anything. Gorilla Glue is aware of the, the dilemma and tweeted a statement reading, we are very sorry to hear about the unfortunate incident that Miss Brown experienced using our spray adhesive on her hair. We are glad to see in a recent video that Miss Brown has received medical treatment from a local medical facility and wish her the best. The company goes on to reiterate that this product is not indicated for use in or on hair as it is considered permanent. Brown posted last week that her hair had been stuck in place for a month after she ran out of her unusual hair products. Now, I don't think this girl is a case. I think she's wasting her time going to ER, um, go, not going to ER, going to, you know, the courts and, you know, for, attempt to find a lawsuit. I don't think you have a case. I think it's quite weak as a case. You know, yes, I mean, I've said hair on the product, but, you know, it does state that this is permanent and nobody will put anything that's permanent in your hair and everybody should know that Gorilla Glue does not go in your hair. So I guess you admit that you've read the label or perhaps you read it afterwards and you think that you have a case here. I just don't think you do. I think, you know, as a grown individual, you should have read the labels. You didn't read the labels um, and now you're suffering the consequences and hopefully we want you all to get better, which is why this has gone viral because we're all following you on the situation. Everybody's quite invested in this because we want you to get better. We want to see progression. We want to see what happens to the ER situation. But at the same time, she also started a GoFundMe and I don't think there's an issue with people, you know, donate, donating to her GoFundMe. I've seen plenty of other people who've had plenty of money donated to them for far less serious reasons. However, if you look at it from the other side and be unbiased, it was her own fault. She didn't read the, um, the, la the label, so why should she be rewarded for her own mistake? So I can see it from both sides of the coin. She is being rewarded because of everyone, she has so many followers, but pretty bad news that the ER, you know, trip with acetone did nothing but worsened her scalp. And now on top of that, Gorilla Glue has spoken out, and as well as that, she has said that she's willing to sue Gorilla Glue. I don't know, guys. I don't know what you make of this. Make of this what you will make of this what you will because I feel like this situation is crazy. She also does an interview. I was going to do a separate video for this, but let's just chuck it all in together. And this is what she says. I guess the only time that you applied Gorilla Glue, at what point did you start to get worried that this may be a permanent thing or a lot more difficult to get out of your hair than you thought? Well, I guess about a second week after me trying to wash it out, I got with my sisters, I got with my mom, everybody was trying to give me, you know, different things about what to do to wash it out. But after, you know, that month passed, this is what made me take to social media. And then the outpouring from people at first was, I mean, you know, you got goofed on a lot. You got called Gorilla Glue Girl. Um, but then it sort yeah. of turned into concern. How did you feel at the beginning when people were like, oh, you idiot. How did, like, you're dealing with this and your hair doesn't move and you have, you have Gorilla Glue in it and then you have to deal with all this sort of online, you know, you idiot stuff. How did, how did that make you feel? I mean, I really, really felt some type of way. Because again, I only went to social media because I didn't have, I didn't know what else to do. Yeah. And I just think it's I guess the only time that you out there can tell me what I can use to take care of. And did you, at any point, did you even try to reach out to Gorilla Glue, to the folks over there to see uh, what they would suggest to help get the glue out of your hair? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you try to shave it off? I, you can't even get a razor under there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so then you, we, we all saw, you took a picture over the weekend of the outside of a hospital and then you lying in a hospital bed with, uh, 
with a medical professional over top of you and there was something in your hair. So when you went into the hospital, did they have a plan? Did they know what to do? And what did they do? No, this, the stuff that was in my hair, that was the cotton. From everybody telling me to take the cotton swab and try to dab different, everything that wow. they were telling me on social media. So the cotton swab started getting stuck. Okay, so, so then what happened? Yes. Yeah. First of all, when I got to the emergency room, you know, they took all my vitals and they brought me straight out there, can tell me what I can use to take care of. I did. You know, they took all my vitals and they brought me straight to the vet. Um, she said, we're going to take care of you right now. When this I get to the bed, they went and got um, nail polish removal. She got some saline water and they started to um, start on the back because I told her it wasn't that much spray in the back because I really couldn't see the back. It's more in the, the front, front, so she started right, with the back. Right, right. So when she started, like it started to burn. That's the problem. Sailing water and trying to, you know, cool That's out. the problem, guys. But it burned too bad to where my heart started beating too bad. Oh, no. So she still stopped. And she told me it looked like she can do it, but it's going to take at least 20 hours. 20 hours? Two zero? That's yeah. nothing. Okay, so then what happened? So I, I, I asked them, you know, can I go home? You know, at least I'll be home and I'll be comfortable. Yeah. Instead of just laying in the hospital bed, trying to get it all out. They gave me some um, saline water. You know, they took all my vibe to get it all out. They gave me some um, saline water. They gave me some neuropolis moral wipes to go home with. The thing is, like, every time we saw it, it burns. Like, oh, that's the problem. Oh. And you can't even get yes. it to a point where it loosens the hair a little bit that you can then just shave it all off. And that's the point that I'm trying not to get to. I really don't want to shave my hair. No, yeah, no, that's for sure. Like the, yeah, that's going to be like the end result. Like, you know, I have nothing else to do. So you're still in this then. So so uh, your trip to the hospital over the weekend, everybody was sort of hoping that you were going to come out and, and everything was going to be good. But you're still in this. This state sounds home. terrible. Yes, I am. We get it all out. Thank you. So, I mean, 20 hours is a long time of to be in pain, yes, but in comparison to putting that on your head for an entire month, I feel like less than a day to take that off is going to be as bad as I thought it would be. But of course, the trip to the ER didn't prove anything successful. And the way the US healthcare system is set up, guys, you have to still pay for stuff like that. So she's back home and now she's obviously at a point where she wants to sue Gorilla Glue. And I feel like there is no case there. I just don't see it in the long run. I honestly don't. Um, I just feel like this is a situation that will take a very long time now to get up and be, you know, slowly but slowly. But again, the acetone didn't work, so I'm not really sure what will work for her. But hopefully, you know, a speedy recovery, guys. But this is why most of us are invested in this. We're either shocked and then now we're worried. We're shocked and then we're invested. We wanna know what the next step is. You know, what's going on, this, this, that, everybody. It's like becoming a weird story that nobody really expected. But of course, I think her suing them isn't gonna do much for her. And you know, they've obviously tweeted out a statement as well. And we'll just see, I think the main concern for this girl is to get this off her head. Why would you leave her on for a month and not realize that perhaps Gorilla Glue could be dangerous for you to use? Like there's so many questions, guys. There's so many questions. What are your thoughts when it comes to this interview and what she said, guys? What are your thoughts? Subscribe to the channel. Click that button, guys, for daily and consistent content. Justine is keeping it clean. Love Island USA, merch, you know, Patreon as well. A very important video coming on my Patreon about um, Army Hammer, Marilyn Manson, and what this stuff that they did. I'm doing that tonight. Subscribe, guys, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.